I feel more that I'm Jewish than I'm Polish, which is kind of awful. But I feel much more at home now in Israel than in Poland. And probably the only thing that is holding me here is my family that I love with all my heart. It's just, you feel like home. Just go there. And even that's my what my parents said, that even if they're not religious, they just entered Jerusalem and they were like calm and peaceful and they were like, where 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 we were supposed to be. And now my brother he lives in Tel Aviv for the next six months. He's studying uh, law at Tel Aviv University. And I'm going to visit him in, in less than four weeks. And I'm staying for three weeks. Then my parents are going there as well for two weeks. And it's just it's very hard to live there, it's for, especially for Polish people, it's very expensive and it's very hard because of how people, some people treat you because they have these stereotypes in their head, but I have a lot of friends in Israel and I just, I just feel like there's my place. It's really hard a lot of people to prove their Jewishness. So even if they want to go, the Israeli office will say, oh, I'm sorry, you're not Jewish enough. If you're one of the most Jewish people, you know, they don't have the right papers because, I don't know, their grandparents were born during the war, wanted to be Jewish during the war. So it's really easy to say, but unless you will get like special treatment for European Jews, it's not gonna happen. I mean, for American Jews to make Aliyah, you just need a, one paper from the rabbi saying you're Jewish. That's all you need, basically, because no one thinks American Jews are cheaters and liars. But Polish communities in the world, everything, everyone thinks that we're cheaters and we're not really Jewish. And all of us are converts. And I need to really try to get to go to Israel for any kind of program. So because my grandma was born in 1944 and she wasn't born Jewish, according to the paper, I'm not able to go make a liya. My grandmother from my mother's side was born to Jewish father for sure and probably Jewish mother as well, but we are not able to prove it at all because they ran away and he was a soldier. No one wanted to be Jewish in 1944 and so in her paper, her birth certificate, there is no word Jewish. Even though she wasn't baptized and no one in my family is baptized or anything, like um, even though her uncle, he survived the ghetto and his wife survived Auschwitz and we got all the papers. They're saying blood is blood and they're not my line. So basically I can go, I will not say bad words on the camera, but <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> they should start talking with particular like concrete countries, like what they have what they did on Ukraine, it was really easy for Ukrainian Jews to go as a refugee to Israel because of the war. They made it happen. And if they will start talking, I don't know, Hungary has a very big amount of anti-Semites. If they will start talking with particularly Hungary and know their history and how it was, it will be easier for Hungarian Jews to make Aliyah. I think in most of the people in Europe, in Eastern Europe. The papers were destroyed. All, like almost all of them, especially in Warsaw, Krakow, like the big cities of Poland, I think Ukraine and everything, they were destroyed. So, good luck proving you're Jewish if you don't know that. Right. <laughs>